Diary about San Francisco Day of Thief. And here, I'll be showing you some interesting facts, history, the Native Americans, and the founding. As you can see, there are four parts. Please enjoy the show. We're here at San Francisco Day of Thief. It's our mission to learn. San Francisco Day of Thieves was founded in 1776, June 29th. It was the sixth mission to be founded in what we know today as San Francisco. Fray Sierra, Captain Rivera, and Captain Anza all helped to found the mission. The statue of Fray Sierra. He was one of the founding priests of San Francisco Day of Thieves. When he was 55, he was chosen by the Roman Catholic Church to help lead, lead the missionary system. San Francisco de Assis was founded by the Anza Expedition. The land to build it was founded in 1774. In 1775, Captain Anza established its supply route. During the journey north on the supply route, nine babies were born, but many people died of sicknesses. They arrived at the Presidio in Monterey, March 10, 1776. Once they were in Monterey, Lieutenant Jose Joaquin Moraga and Fray Paulu led 18 settlers to the San Francisco area. In June 29, 1776, a temporary chapel was built. Soon after that, the building of the Presidio began. It was named after St. Francis of Assisi. Okay, so we're here, here in the little church room in San Francisco de Assisi. It, San Francisco de Assis is famous for its beautiful murals and artwork on its walls. Um, did you know that it survived the San Francisco earthquake? None of it has been rebuilt. This is a tomb at the cemetery. At the cemetery, there are about 5,000 Indians buried. It is in a courtyard-like setting. On my trip to San Francisco de Assis, I saw some of the original artwork in the original chapel. Note the big mural on the wall. To build the mission, the Ohlone would go into the forest and chop down redwood trees. Then they would make those into planks for the mission's foundation. They also made adobe bricks for the walls to the mixture of clay, soil, water, straw, and sometimes manure. This is a diagram of, of the Tachui. They were some of the Ohlone that were at San Francisco de Assis. Up there, they're, they're the thing of the, what their life, daily life was like. They would hunt, they would hunt and gather. On the Ohlone, Coast Miwok, and Patwin were all the tribes that lived at the mission. On Sundays, when they completed their services, they would go out and dance. The men would paint their bodies all sorts of colors, and they also had rafts on San Francisco Bay. They like to play games with sticks. Did you know the Spanish name for Ohlone is Costanol? The Ohlone lived in tribes of usually 80 to 100 people. Sometimes they would have to move to a temporary site to get more acorns and food. The men did the hunting and fishing, and the women weaved, collected berries and acorns, and they made acorn mash. They made bows and arrows out of good wood and vegetable socks or animal sinew. In the middle of the cemetery is a Thule hut, which is dedicated to the Ohlone that helped build the mission. The diorama, created for 1939's World Fair on Treasure Island in San Francisco Bay, made it shows what the area looked like around 1791. The mission complex is extensive, including the church on the left, the convent runs across the front, and and a long building on the right, it was the granary. To the back of the shop are servant quarters. Building down the far right housed soldiers and civilians based, based at the mission. Credit to the pamphlet at San Francisco de Assis. None of those was in my own writing, and it is from the pamphlet. The 
Basilica, after a 1906 earthquake, was left in ruins, but San Francisco de Assisi was a survivor. Start, start over. Go ahead. This is a photo of what was left to the sink. After the 1906 earthquake, like the shop. Oh. After 19. 